Hey guys, what's up? It's Miley. Um, just got home today from uh, a few days of just being able to chill and uh, I took a few days off and had a little vacation time, which was awesome. Only four days, but it was, you know, it was definitely a good time. So, happy to be home and whatnot. Uh, first and foremost, i um, like to introduce you, Feather. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Come here, Feather. This is the newest, well, of course, Mate. Mate is a camera hog. Mate. This is the newest addition to our family. This is Feather. Feather, come here, babe. This is my sister's dog and the new, like, obsession of mine right now. This is Feather, Mate's best friend slash girlfriend. And, uh, yeah, he gets very jealous, though. Even though he loves her, he gets a little bit jealous. Um, but these are the two most beautiful doggies in the whole wide world. So, I'm so lucky. Yay. But just wanted you guys to see Feather. Thought you guys would think she was adorable. Well, my sister rescued her, which is awesome. So, she's got a good home now. And her and Mate are awesome together. They can, they play all day, which is great that I don't have to now take him everywhere because he doesn't necessarily fit in my car as well as he used to since he is now, uh, weighs officially, I think, two more pounds more than me. After my vacation, he probably weighs less than me now because of how much yummy food I ate, which was great. I was so happy. Um, but yeah, so he did weigh a little bit more than me before my vacation. Um, so it's getting kind of hard to take him places, so I'm glad he has a friend, so I don't have to leave him home alone. Um, so Feather's going to be in the background, apparently, because Feather loves the camera. Um, Feather. I love this dog so much. She's so awesome. Um, I just wanted to first say thank you guys so much for my MTV MA nomination. Um, such, like, a cool, you know, event and an honor, because there's amazing artists there, and, um, really looking forward to, you know, seeing some of my friends there and I, the performances are always phenomenal. I think some of the best performances go down at the MTV EMA, so I'm stoked. Um, yeah, so I haven't really gotten to make a video in a little while, um, just like a lot of stuff going on and I think sometimes it's better just to let the press get out all their opinions and whatnot and everybody say what they want, but sometimes, you know, I just think it's important for me to be able to contact, you know, my fans directly instead of, you know, through this person says this or this person's you know, publicist or whatnot says this. I think it's important just for me to be able to sometimes make a video or, you know, just get in, get in control of what's actually said about me because there's times that, you know, I let things fly and it's not enough of a rumor to matter, but sometimes I'm just like, I want, you know, my fans to be able to still feel connected with me and not only hear a million different things from a million different sources, which again, I think I always say, like, who the heck are these sources? I'd love to know um, because they're, like, so whack. Uh, but amazing imagination. Um, so, yeah. First, I want to start off with, no, I'm not engaged, or no, I'm not getting married anytime soon. So many people are like, Miley, you know, needs commitment and blah, 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 so Miley should do this, Miley should do this. Miley doesn't need to do anything but sit and chill and enjoy life and make good music, um, music that I love, and that's the most important thing, and, you know, make, you know, art that means something to me, that's important to me, and something that keeps me going and keeps me happy, because that's, that's what I love to do, you know, so I don't let anyone ever affect the way that I think of my art, I just do what I love, and, you know, hopefully my fans support that, and you guys always have, so that's awesome, um, so yeah, I don't need any type of commitment, I'm not planning on getting married anytime soon, and no, I'm not living with anybody, that's, I think, a rumor that's been going on since... I've got my very first boyfriend ever. <laughs> I think people have always been like, Miley's living with her boyfriend. It's like, no, I live at home. I'm now sitting in my mom's shoe closet. <laughs> I still live at home, still live with my mom, my dad, my family. No one's here with us, just my family. Um, you know, and I just want to clear that up because I think, you know, people get upset thinking like, I don't know what I was reading today, what got emailed to me. I, I only read what gets emailed to me from people saying, do you want to clear this up? Do you... Blah, blah, blah. Sometimes I just let it go, but, you know, I just said, like, okay, I definitely don't want people to think I'm trying to get married anytime soon. I'm way too, like, driven right now. About, I'm, first of all, I'm 17. Ridiculous. Uh, and second of all, it's like I just got so much work I want to get done. I want so much to do. There's no way. <laughs> no way. Um, what else? Oh, the best rumor that I've heard, which is actually pretty hilarious. I called the cops because the paparazzi started making me nervous while I was driving. 
and uh, they started swerving and getting up in my face as I was trying to drive. They were like, put the cameras like in front of my car that I was trying to reverse. I'm like, okay, do I keep driving? What do I do? Like, if I hit them, I'm in trouble. If I don't go, I sit here and just do a free freaking photo shoot in front of, you know, all these people that I really don't want to pay their bills anyway. I don't want to be, I don't know. It just seems like such a disgusting thing, but that is totally beside the point. Anyways, um, and so I called the cops. And I'm hanging out, and I pull over because the cops say, like, they call me and say, Miley, you know, we're on our way. Where are you now? And I said, oh, I'll just pull over so you'll see what car I'm in. I pull over. The paparazzi gets out, and they start taking pictures of me. And the next day, I get escorted home because I was talking on my cell phone. One of the people I was talking to on my cell phone was, at first, my mom to tell that I called the cops. And second of all, the police, when they called me to tell me that they were there. So I was on the phone for being on my phone. Like, it was just ridiculous. Um, so... Apparently, you know, I got escorted home because I, I got in trouble by the cops. And really, I called the cops to get away from the paparazzi, and then they paparazzi that. So really, I just can't win. Um, and, yeah, I think that's like the three main ones. No, I'm not married. No. Oh, and no, I don't want a boob job. <laughs> that's, I think, maybe past. But no, I don't want that. Um, hmm. Yeah. I think that's pretty much the main ones that I wanted to clear up right now. Um, but most of all, I think I just wanted to people to know. I think in pictures, I always look upset, and it's not, you know, it's because these cameras that follow me, I just think it's really kind of unfair, and I think it'll change. I think, I don't know, I know there's some people that maybe like that attention, but I'm not one of them. I really just want to be able to go on walks and enjoy where I live, you know, California. It's not the most beautiful city in the entire world, I don't think. It's that there's a lot of concrete, but it's because I haven't got to see the pretty parts of it because someone's always following me, and it makes it hard to enjoy, you know, this beautiful time and enjoy the earth. And, um, yeah, so I think it's just kind of, I don't know, I'm not going to sit here and complain because i got to do amazing things, you know, and so I'm not going to sit here and complain about that. That's not what this video is for. This video is just reach out to my fans and let you guys know where I stand on everything. And just know that, you know, the reason I've been looking kind of upset lately isn't because I'm miserable or because of a breakup or because of whatnot. It's, it's really just because the paparazzi really do frustrate me. And it makes me really upset, you know, that I am being followed around by men that I don't know. Um, and for anyone else, you could be, you know... That could be considered stalking, and you and I don't know who these guys are. You know, I don't know if they're good guys, bad guys. I don't necessarily care. I don't really want anyone following me, ever, because that's you know that's just a weird concept, and doesn't seem like the safest either. You know, I think that's kind of an unfair thing, but it's you know it's what I have to deal with to do what I love, and that's fine. But when things are taken out of context, it ends up hurting my feelings. One, um, because I know things are said about me that are completely false, and. You know, above everything, I love my fans, and that's the one that I hate. The biggest rumor the most is that I don't take care of my fans because I've literally, I've been going through just a ton of stuff, you know, and working really hard, and there's always times I stop for as many fans as I possibly can, um, and I take as many pictures, and I, you know, the best thing in the world is when someone stops and tells me that, you know, the climb has helped them through something, or Party in the USA was their, you know, summer song they love to, you know, dance to and you know someone said tamed was the UCLA theme for like you know these girls from UCLA came up to me and were like oh my god we've been listening to that the whole time it's been getting us through school like you know it's been awesome that's that why I do what I do is to you know not the the stuff that everyone else puts out that's the bad things but the positive feedback that I get from my true fans that really care about me and that will actually listen to this video and you know realize that what people have said are not true I love my fans and I'm still the same person I'm just you know, living life and learning and going through what every, you know, one has to go through. I, I'm going through figuring out who I am, and that is going to be through a ton of different stages and a ton of different things and mistakes and experience and, um, and all that. And that's how I relate to you guys is I'm just like y'all. So um, that's probably going to be the next quote. I'm just like y'all. They're going to call me hillbilly, but I don't care. I just got back from my home, so my accent's a little stronger than usual. Um, got to go back to... Taking a mathematics quiz. Uh, I'll talk to you guys soon and hope to see y'all out at, um, you know, any shows that I get to do. And, um, you know, hope you guys are still loving, loving life and loving what I'm doing because I'm loving it. So, you guys rock.